What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really exciting, exciting video for you guys. This is in collaboration with Dermadry. Okay, so how this collaboration kind of came about, um, if you guys haven't seen my insecurities video, go ahead and go watch that. I'm gonna link it up above for you guys. This is the first time that I've ever like addressed it online was in that video, my insecurities video, but I'm somebody who um, suffers from excessively sweaty hands and feet. Uh, my hands, not that big of a deal. Like I have clammy hands, but a lot of people have clammy hands, but um, in my feet it really sucks because if I'm like walking around the entire day and I am unable to like change my socks, for example, and I'm wearing boots or whatever, um, this sweat tend to make my feet smell a little bit. And this is something that I've been dealing with ever since I was pretty much a child. Um, it's something that I used to get made fun of by my family, I've been made fun of by my friends, and it's just gotten to that point where it's like, everybody that's close to me knows that I have this issue, so it doesn't bother me so much anymore, because as long as the people that I love and that love me don't give a fuck, I don't give a fuck either. But, it is something that is a really shitty condition, and um, I did some research and there is a name for this condition, it is called hyperhidrosis. Um, I know a lot of other people who have hyperhidrosis, one of my friends has it, um, and then after I posted that insecurities video, more than one of you guys reached out to me and um, pretty much told me that you do suffer from the same um, issue and that it is also like an insecurity of yours. And I hate to hear that because as good as it feels to know that there are other people who understand what I'm feeling, I hate that you're feeling it too because it sucks. Like it's just, it's shitty. It's a shitty condition. Um, I've gotten a lot of shit for it in my life and yeah, I just like don't really wish that upon anybody. The research I found that it actually is a known condition that really um, severely impacts the quality of life for the people who have this condition because um, once it gets to a certain point, like if you're if you're sweating a lot, it does make your hands and feet smell not that great, you know? Um, and yeah, it's just, it's like it affects, it can affect you socially, it can affect you mentally. And I really never thought of to look into a way to cure it. I just didn't think there was anything that I could do about it other than maybe prevent it. So I would always change my socks often throughout the day if I know I'm like having a long walking day or if I'm wearing like cheaper shoes. I find that that affects it. Um, I've tried the whole like foot deodorant thing, doesn't really work. I've tried the whole like the powder that you put in your shoes um, to prevent sweatiness and that didn't really work. It just like made my shoes gross. But I recently was reached out to by this company called Dermadry. And Dermadry is this company that offers a solution, a home solution for those of you who suffer from hyperhidrosis. It's needle free, it's drug free, and it's the first of its kind to be approved by Health Canada. So essentially they have a iontophoresis machine and it is the first tap water iontophoresis um, solution that is offered and it is the first of its price point as well. So it is a lot more affordable than treatments and than the other machines that are out there that are available for um, like home use. So essentially how it works, and I am no scientist um, and not an engineer, so I have the page open in front of me, so I'm kind of reading. If, if you see me looking down, that's why. But um, Dermadry, the machine, is essentially a tap, wa tap water iontophoresis device, and this technology works by directing a small current through the skin, neutralizing the connections between the sweat nerves and your sweat glands. The treatment has been known to drastically decrease excessive sweating, um, and it is a treatment that you can go in to... Um, like a specialist to get, but this is really great because it offers you the opportunity to do this at home, which is, I think, amazing. So it comes in a box like this. They have three different machines. They have the Dermal Dry Total. They have the Dermal Dry Hands and Feet, which just gives you the, um, the pads. What is it? What are the things called? The electrodes for your hands and your feet, um, and they also have Derma Dry underarms, which just give you gives you the little um, electrodes that are just for your underarms. I just sit down because I was getting tired. Um, but yeah, it's one of the safest and easiest ways to get the um, 
treatments for hyperhidrosis. So yeah, obviously when they reached out to me, I was ecstatic, like honestly ecstatic. I don't know how this happened, like I don't know maybe if they've seen my insecurities video or how they discovered me, but I just thought it was like the most perfect thing for me to try and test out for you guys and let you know how it is because this is actually an issue that I deal with. So they sent me this machine. I'm just going to talk you guys through my experience with it. I've tried it two times. Um, so I haven't seen like drastic results yet. My feet has gotten a lot better throughout the years. Just as I'm getting older, I think um, they've been a lot less sweaty, but um, I'm just excited to see how much this is going to help me. I'm going to keep you guys updated um, on the results as well. So you guys will probably see another video in however long, maybe like a month or two, of whether it has really helped. But yeah, I just wanted to talk you guys through how to use it and how I liked it so far. So when you open it up, it comes in a nice case like this. And there used to be... A kind of like um, foam padding that went in here but I took the foam padding out and I just kept the case with all of its belongings there's actually a portion of the set that's missing right now and it's the towels but I'll explain to you guys exactly what those are for um, later on so in your derma dry toilet kit you get a couple of things you get four of these pads and these are for your underarms um, you get two underarm size electrodes, so to use these, essentially you just take the electrode and you slip it into the pads here, you connect it to the machine, which I will show you guys, but you slip it into the pads and you put these under your arms. It comes with the actual machinery, which is what's going to be um, conducting or like sending out the currents, uh, manual, two larger electrodes, and these are going to be what's for your hands and your feet, and then it comes with two small white towels, which are about the size of this electrode, pretty much, a little bit bigger, um, which are for your hands and your feet as well. How it works, and this is going to sound a little bit scary, and it was a little bit scary for me when I was like first trying it out because I wasn't exactly sure how it was going to feel like um, and whether I was just going to like accidentally electrocute myself to death. But when you're doing it for your hands or your feet, you take the box that it comes with and it actually if I, slips out to be two containers so like these little middle connector things slip out really easily and you take this you take an electrode you put it inside of the box you connect the machine in its white connector to the end of the electrode like that you place it on the ground and you fill this up with water so not all the way um, it says, I think, maximum 500 milliliters, so I filled it up so it would just, the water level was just slightly over my toes when my feet is placed flat in here. So you put the electrode, you take the towel, you put it on top of the electrode, so that's where your foot's going to rest, and then you fill it up with a little bit of water. And you do the same with the other one, and you place both bins down on the ground in front of you and you put your feet in it. So essentially what it does is this machine will send electric currents through the wire um, onto this metal conductor, this metal plate, and then once your foot is in the water, um, those currents will kind of drive into your feet or I guess make contact with your foot. So I'm just going to read you guys some excerpts from their website as well, just in case my explaining absolutely sucked, which I kind of know it did. But um, essentially, top water iontophor iontophoresis, iontophoresis, iontophoresis. 
Tap water ionophoresis treatments need to be repeated to maintain dryness. The use of tap water ensures uniform treatment over the targeted areas. Um, providing an adequate level of current on the targeted area will stop sweat in most cases. The success of treatment depends on the current strength. Higher current strengths work better and should be used for intense sweating. The treatment strength should be charged or changed based on skin sensitivity. Hands and feet can tolerate a, to a higher current strength than other arms. So the scientific evidence behind this, the effectiveness of tap water ion to to treat hyperhidrosis has been demonstrated uh, by numerous studies. These studies were performed on patients with primarily uh, focal hyperhidrosis, mild, moderate, and severe. The studies were performed on patients in all age ranges from 8 years old to 71 years old. The treatment parameters were mostly similar regarding the current strength and the treatment duration and the treatment frequency. The clinical studies evaluated the efficiency of the treatment both in clinical conditions, so like in hospitals, provide, uh, performed by healthcare professionals, and at home um, when they were provided with the devices on their own. So here are the results to those studies. Tap water ion tophoresis treatments improve the patient's quality of life significantly during the treatment. 92.9% of patients saw results after two weeks of treatments. 88.9% of patients had positive results and a majority of the patients found the maintenance program compatible with their lifestyle. Quality of life improved in 78.6% of patients after two weeks. Tap water ion tophoresis is a simple, safe, effective therapeutic option for palmoplantar plantar hyperhidrosis. So palmoplantar plantar um, hyperhidrosis is essentially excessive sweating in your hands and your feet. And then auxiliary is um, in your underarms. Da -da -da, it says, um, the study demonstrated that tap water iontophoresis controls palmar hyperhidrosis after a total of eight treatments. And if your um, concern is more just in your underarms instead of your hands and your feet, they actually found that it was more effective in patients that were treating their underarms um, than people who were treating their hands and their feet. So there's that. So I guess talking a little bit about my experience with it, not gonna lie, when I first started treatments, I was really scared because the thought of electric currents running through water and touching my feet frightened me because I don't know, like as as much as I know that it is like such a safe product and that it can only um, output 25 milliamps of currents, um, it's just it's just a little it's just a scary thought. You just don't know what it's gonna feel like the first time. So um, I was pretty hesitant when I was like getting started. It took me a long time even just to boost it up to one milliamp, um, but I did it. And honestly, it wasn't awful at all. At one milliamp, you can really barely feel it. And the thing is, it is gonna feel different depending on your skin sensitivity. So I got my friend Joel to try it out as well. And I was only able to get up to about four milliamps of power before I could really feel the current kind of running along my skin, um, like along the skin of my feet and kind of almost up my legs. Like it's not painful in any way, but you do feel it. It's like a little, it's like a light tickle. It's a very, very slight feeling, but it just feels like somebody, like just imagine somebody like taking the tips of their nails or the tips of their fingers and just like in the lightest way possible running it along the bottom of your feet. Um, at four milliamps, I did find that when I wiggled my toes, I, it felt like somebody was poking the front of my toe. Not with anything sharp, um, but it was like a bit of a poke. So like imagine, what is this, the, the, the ox uh, input section of your Apple headphones. <laughs> you know, just any kind of like doll thing um, that has a bit of a point. But just imagine taking that and lightly poking the tip of your finger with it. I think because you know that it is an electric current, um, it feels scarier than what it actually feels like, if that makes any sense. It's like your brain almost tricks you to feel shocked, like you're like, ooh, ooh, like I, I will react to it, but it doesn't hurt in any way, if that makes any sense. So I found that going from one milliamp up to two milliamp, I could feel the difference because one, really I couldn't feel anything at all. And then two, I kind of started feeling just something running 
throughout my feet. Um, two to three I couldn't feel, but three to four I could really feel. So at four, I was like, this is good. I'm not going to up it anymore. For Joel, for example, he was able to get it up to... I think it was like 13 or 14 or something ridiculous like that. So pretty much one through about like seven or eight, he wasn't feeling it at all. He was like, there's no sensation. And then about seven or eight, he started feeling like a light current run along his feet. Um, and then, yeah, from again, I guess about eight to about 14, he was like, okay, it actually, he can feel the current more. So I think it totally depends on you. I think even if you have really sensitive skin, it's not going to hurt at one or two milliamps. It's, you do feel the physical sensation of kind of a light current running, um, along your skin, but I would not relate that physical sensation to pain at all. Like if anything, it's more of a tickle or more of, I think a tickle is probably like the best way to describe it essentially. But yeah, I just, I'm still in disbelief that this company reached out to me and it's not something that I even like needed to go out and research and find myself. But it's, it really literally feels like the universe has sent me a sign that, um, you know, that it is curable and it just made me really excited to share this with you guys because really that is like one of my biggest insecurities and it's something that I think I will always be a little bit insecure about. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. The feeling of finding a solution really, really just, just gives me joy. <laughs> But yeah, let me know if you guys have ever heard of ion tophoresis, um, the treatment, and what you think about it, and whether you have this issue. I'd love to get a discussion started around this topic for those of you who also uh, suffer from hyperhidrosis. And if you don't know, if you do, like if you do have, you know, sweaty hands and feet and you don't know if it is hyperhidrosis, go see a doctor. Like they're going to be able to tell you best. Um, I am in no means a doctor or anybody who is qualified to give you that kind of diagnosis but the best that I can do obviously is just to give you um, kind of like my experience with um, the condition and yeah kind of take you through my journey with my new machine thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it was informative I hope this was helpful and I hope that for those of you who do suffer from the condition and haven't heard of this treatment before, I hope it gives you a little bit of hope <laughs> because that's kind of how I felt when I read that first email that I received from them. I was like, wait, hold up, hold up. Is this real? <laughs> like, there's an actual treatment? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and make sure to hit the subscribe button. I've got more videos coming, I promise, I promise. There are vlogs coming, there are more um, personal growth videos coming. I'm going to be traveling to Asia next week so there's going to be travel videos coming. Keep your eyes peeled, I swear there, there are great things coming this winter. So yeah, stay connected. Um, I have all of my social accounts down below for you guys if you want to check me out on any other platform. And I think that's everything. I hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!